You're watching the ZNS Network, the People's Station. Coming up in the news, teachers in the public school system assembling today for the annual orientation ceremony. Also, weather officials urging residents to remain cautious during the remaining months of the 2022 hurricane season. And police are continuing investigations into the discovery of a dangerous drug. Tonight, a health official is calling for the suppliers to cease immediately. The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition starts now. This is the Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Good evening and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. I'm Ramiko Knowles. Thank you so much for watching. Topping the news, the countdown is on to the reopening of public schools in the country in preparation for the launch of the new school term on Grand Bahama. Public school teachers gathered at St. George's High School today for the annual orientation ceremony. During his keynote address, District Super. Intendant of Grand Bahama, Bimini, and the Keys, Ivan Butler, outlining various initiatives put in place to ensure the success of the education sector. Our Raven Davis was there. Scores of educators representing the various public schools on Grand Bahama assembling at the St. George's Gymnasium for a teacher's orientation ceremony. As back to school preparations get underway, topics such as general health and safety were addressed. The ceremony being held under this year's theme, Rethink, Retool, Reboot, Transforming the Teaching Learning Experience. Following the welcome remarks, a team of officers led by ACP Theophilus Cunningham making their formal introductions as the officers prepare to be stationed at the various public high schools. Inspector Corey Damianos also underscoring safety tips for students. We'd like to remind them not to speak to strangers Never get in a vehicle with a person that is not your parent and guardian, not to cross the road without looking left and right. Just the basic fundamentals to keep safe throughout the year. As we continue to ensure that no unwanted, unnecessary vagrants or variables get onto the campus. And against the backdrop of health threats, COVID-19 and monkeypox, local physician Dr. Frank Bartlett advising the educators to continue adhering to public safety measures as officials collaborate on the way forward. It means your hand washing, your social distancing, mask wearing is still gonna be recommended for indoors. That is a recommendation, okay? Next week, we should see guidelines as it relates to what are going to be the specifics. The recommendation was made at a national level. It has to be discussed and approved. One of the uh, requests we made is not to necessarily wear masks in the classrooms. Or, uh, and you want to keep be aware that now that indoor for the greater part, we're still recommending that you do wear the mask. District Superintendent of Grand Bahama, Bimini and the Keys District, Ivan Butler, highlighting the importance of educators, noting that they are society's greatest resources. During his keynote address, he says the Department of Education, specifically the Grand Bahama District, will provide the tools necessary for success in education. Some of these tools are initiatives which include providing every school this year with a school board and a budget to help assist them. We've also gone to the extent of producing a manual for administrators. Administrators will have a manual today that will guide them to be more effective in their duties. We will be more effective with our curriculum pacing guides, which we will have for all schools. We'll improve our digital infrastructure. The ceremony closing out with a prayer from principal of Aid Marock High School, Albert Jones. Students in the public school system are set to return to the classrooms on September 5th. For the Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition, I'm Raven Davis. Thanks, Raven. The committee appointed to review the National Diploma Meeting in New Providence today. The initiative, which was introduced back in 2014, has experienced challenges over the years. The first national graduation took place in 2017. Veteran educator Dr. Cecil Thompson has been appointed chairman of that committee and says the National Diploma is a worthwhile criteria and the committee is determined to find ways to improve it. It is in my humble opinion, a commendable initiative that was led 
by Mr. Lionel Sands, a dear friend of mine. He replaced me as a director of education. And so he will be giving me a lot of very good advice with regard to this, right? And so we'll meet together to look at this to see how we can improve it. Now Thompson shares that he would like to see the inclusion of stakeholders on the family islands take place as a result of this review. The views of parents throughout and parents and stakeholders throughout our capelago have to be put into the general mix, right? So that parents in Bimini, parents in Inagua, or stakeholders, Aucklands, Meguana, and the rest of it, it, it cannot just be a Grand Bahama and a New Providence thing. It has to be. That's just the general things that I would like to see accomplished. It would mean going to the family island, to the other parts of the country to ascertain people's views in terms of how we need to improve it going forward. Now, heads of public and private schools, presidents of teachers' unions, and retired educators throughout the country were recruited by Minister of Education, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, following the government's announcement to review the diploma earlier this year. Switching gears, we are three months into the hurricane season and it has been a quiet season so far. But tonight, weather officials are warning residents not to be caught off guard. Our Jolanda Thompson reports. A few online articles are describing this year's Atlantic hurricane season as the least active. But Chief Meteorologist Kirk James is refuting those claims. He is advising residents to create a safety plan as the peak of the hurricane season approaches. James says based on official sources, this season is projected to be very active with 14 named storms, seven hurricanes and three major storms. However, this year is above midpoint. During the second update, they did tweak the numbers a little, maybe by two or three, but by and large, they're looking for 14 to 20 named storms, you know, five to 10, six to 10 uh, hurricanes with three to five major. So that's an above normal hurricane season. He currently says forecasters are monitoring two systems with a 10 to 20% chance of formation. As it gets closer to the Caribbean, one is heading to the Windward Islands and the Caribbean, matter of fact, passing through the Windward Islands. And um, the other one is much further east, just off the coast of Africa. And of course, we'll be watching them closely as they trek um, westward to see if they'll cause any trouble. In this right now, no, the long-term projections, no threat to our area at this thing. The chief meteorologist says that each year history has taught us to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Because it only takes one system to make it a bad year for whatever location it impacts. You know, so we don't want people to get fixated on the numbers. Oh, it's going to be a very active 120 or it's going to be a low one less than that. James is encouraging the public to continue to monitor the weather and to make every effort to prepare for any eventuality. For the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Julanda Thompson. Well, a rare drug was found on Grand Bahama this week. Police say officers of the Drug Enforcement Unit discovered 1.8 ounces of suspected methamphetamine at a residence. Tonight, a psychiatrist with the Grand Bahama Health Services is warning against the use of dangerous drugs such as meth and urging those who are supplying it to stop immediately. You'd be amazed how many people would say, now, cocaine is not giving me that buzz that I want. Let me try this other drug. It was a rare discovery. Police reports say over $17,000 worth of suspected methamphetamine was found at a residence in a Quaker Oats container. While police are still conducting their investigations to determine whether the crystal substance found is methamphetamine, clinical director and psychiatrist with Grand Bahamas Health Services, Dr. Daphne Sands, warns that it is an extremely dangerous and highly addictive drug. It's like cocaine. There's no treatment you just have to address the symptoms like you come in stroke increased blood rate your heart rate you know your temperature high, sky high and so now like any other you have to now address these symptoms address the organs that's being involved and then the only other way is like the cocaine is inpatient detox 
As a medical practitioner specializing in the diagnosis and treatment of mental illness, when she heard that it was supposedly found on the island, she was stunned. I'm a little surprised. You know, we're so close to the United States, so nothing is impossible for um, being here in the country. Um, but I thought that it was in Nassau when I listened to the news, not realizing it was right here in my backyard in, in Freeport. Now that she is aware of the discovery, she is concerned, as there is no way to test a person for it in the public system. We don't test for all that in the public system. We don't have the reagent for it. And we have had recently some admissions that they would test negative for both cocaine and marijuana, and that's the two that we do test for. But their behavior was still so erratic. We suspected that it had to be something else. The question now is how did the drug end up in Grand Bahama? Police officials say investigations are ongoing to determine whether it was imported or manufactured at that residence. Dr. Sands urging those who are involved to cease. Take it off the market and all the other drugs. This is a small nation. We have to be our brother's keeper. If we know of people who are out there that's distributing, please come forward so that we can, our young people, because it's them that's mainly being attracted to it, can have a future. And for those persons who are addicted to drugs, help is available. Hospital social worker Clarence Heald says they are ready to offer their support. When they come in to us, we'll give them the, um, the instructions of what they need to do. Uh, they would be, first they would have to attend three sessions in psychiatry, and then they would be referred to uh, uh, re rehab in Nassau. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Stay with us. There's more news when we come back. It's back to school again, folks. You don't only want to beat the rush. You want the most affordable prices. Shop at Invading Force Bookstore and Supplies and save, save, save. No fat. Currently located in Finest Loop, number three, Ash and Ange Building. No fat. Fully stocked with all your tax and workbooks, including school supplies. No fat. Serving all schools on the island, both government and private, from kindergarten to high school. And guess what? They're fat free. Bring that book list. They'll make it happen. Phone them today at 374-2401. One. They don't just match prices, they beat it. Pizza Hut Freeport is bringing you savings this summer. Order a large one-topping pizza with a two-liter Coke along with our newest dessert, the Pineapple Tart. For just $22.50, fat inclusive. A delicious pizza, two-liter Coke, and a pineapple tart to satisfy your sweet tooth. Available for carryout, delivery, and curbside to go at our fabulous Pizza Hut restaurant downtown Freeport. 352-9191. Pizza Hut Freeport. For the love of pizza. Get $2 off your favorite boba drink at Shape Your Crepe until September 9th. Shape Your Crepe, number 9, West Mall Drive. Phone 688-4273. Hi, I'm Wes. I'd like to put some shoes on your feet. Hi, I would like to put some shoes on your feet. Hi. I want to put some shoes on your feet. I want to put some shoes on your feet. Hi, I want to put some shoes on your feet. Let, Let us put, put shoes, shoes on, on your feet. feet. Signature Furniture is Grand Bahama newest online furniture store. Signature Furniture carries quality products such as living room sets, dining room sets, bedroom sets, bar stools, accent pieces, wall mirrors, floor mirrors, benches. You can purchase individual pieces or buy the sets. We also have in-store designs by Renee for those persons who are unable to put their rooms together. She can be contacted at Signature Furniture. We also have a website, Signature Furniture 
BAH.com. Once you were to log on to the website, you would browse. Once your pieces are selected, you would then come into the store to make your payment. Once payment is made, your order would be shipped, delivered, and picked up within eight to 10 working days. Welcome back. A religious tourism event is taking place on the shores of Grand Bahama. International Bible Teachers Ministries is hosting its first leadership conference at the Old Bahama Bay Resort. The leadership summit begins tonight and will end on August 28th. Founder of Bible Teachers International, Apostle Mary Banks, and a bishop of the local ministry, Marvin Weish, say over 150 leaders from around the world will be in attendance, and they are excited about having the conference on this northern island. Well, the summit is actually a sit down with, with God. And we, we, we've been training these, these ministers for many, many years now. And it's time for them to get out, to get out the four walls. And so we're coming to get our marching orders from the Lord. So we're going to sit with him for about four days and just listen to what he has to say and how to, how to affect ministry. What do we actually do when we go back to our locations? This event is really special because normally we have... Uh, conferences in different locations, whether it be in Texas, uh, Leesburg, Florida, Fort Lauderdale. And for this one to be one of our first pastoral summit, where all the leaders from every location in Bible Teachers International will come to the Bahamas. And we will meet at West End. And I think it's even good for that community that all of us will be down there. And, you know, it's even good for the island where some can come and, you know, share and see what we're all about. Senior Pastor for Bible Teachers International in the nation's capital, Lorenzo Bryce, also on hand expressing his anticipation for the event. Meanwhile, the Manager of Religious Tourism, Debbie Heiler, officially welcoming the delegates to the shores of Grand Bahama. Our apostle has been pouring into us for many years, and there have been so many truths we've been given from God through our apostle, and we're excited about embracing those truths and now given an opportunity uh, to hear how God is going to, to just lead and guide us as we go about doing our Father's business, so we're excited. We believe this is a good time for us and our ministry, and we're excited to see what God is going to do these next few days in our lives. We look forward to the, to the success of this event, and we are optimistic of continued working relationship between Apostle Banks, religious groups, and the entire faith-based community on Grand Bahama. Mm -hmm. So again, on behalf of our Honorable Minister of Tourism, uh, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, and the fine people of Grand Bahama Island, we welcome you here to our island. The Anita Doherty NACAC Open Track and Field Championships was a rousing success. Despite some of the hiccups of the, of the track and field event, while hotels and vendors benefited greatly from the 30-plus visiting countries, the ground transportation services set the table for the athletes enjoying their stay on the island. Tonight, members of the transportation team are sharing their experience. Shane Stubbs has more. Chairman of the Ground Transportation Unit for the Anita Doherty NACAC Open Track and Field Championship, Dr. Cecil Thompson, says they found a lot of success helping the visiting athletes get around the island. With efforts also coming from the Ministry of Tourism, Bahamas Air, H. Forbes Charter Services, and S&D Tours, Thompson shared the collective effort of everyone involved helped make the athletes stay worthwhile. I'd like to take this opportunity, Riley, to thank... Uh, the immigration departments, the customs departments, the athletes from every participating country were treated 
like kings and queens. It was a recognition that this event has never taken place in the Bahamas before. It may never take place in the Bahamas again. And so everybody rose to the occasion. Adrian Gilbert, the ambassador attached to Team Jamaica, says that once the team was able to switch hotels, there was nothing but high praise for the island. Her efforts went as far as making sure one of the athletes was able to receive help at the Ram Memorial Hospital once they fell ill after competition, even if it meant her getting just 30 minutes of sleep to ensure the athletes were on the bus transported to the airport. Once they got to Ocean Reef, we took real good care of them. They had a wonderful time. They enjoyed the food. They enjoyed the Bahamians that were there. They enjoyed the island. They say they definitely have to come back to the island when there's no meat. They want to come one-on-one -on -one to enjoy, you know, themselves. The trio of Rachel Gilbert, Reverend Marvin Rule, and Kiasanika Bo Small sharing their role in keeping the athletes happy. It was good overall. It was my first time, and I really enjoyed it. A lot of them, this was their first time in Freeport and Grand Bahama, and they were genuinely saying they want to come back here again, and that, that was encouraging. And so... It was good to just be available to move them around as expeditiously as possible. And the important thing was making sure that they were on time for different meets and stuff. So if the bus and stuff was then available or they need small errands and stuff, I was able to hop in my personal vehicle and go and get the job done for them. The visiting teams began leaving the island as soon as Monday, with a few leaving this past Wednesday. For the Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition, I'm Shane Stubbs. Well, she is Grand Bahamas' newest songbird. A journey of trials and tribulations has led to her stardom. She credits her success so far to a higher power. Jolanda Thompson has her story. Because I've tried and tried again and again. And I know you love me. It is a message about God's grace and mercy that can sometimes be taken for granted. Songwriter Brandira Brennan says that her new single, Running Back to You, is aimed to teach a generation that they can run to God regardless of their circumstance. You know that I've tried. Brennan, who is affectionately known as Brenda B, says the song speaks to God's undying love that welcomes us to a restored relationship with Him. It's so easy to fall back into certain things that we know we shouldn't do or things that are just easy to do. But um, we're just thankful that, or I'm just thankful that God has extended His arm out to us and given us the ability to have His forgiveness as long as we come back with a repentant heart and we're willing and able to just turn back to him and do things the right way. Running Back to You is a representation of Brennan's personality, which she describes as vibrant and fun. It has ups, it has downs, it has changes going throughout it, but it's a really energetic song that talks a lot about just doing things over and over and coming right back. Pastor Kyle Maycock, who was the first to hear the new single, says the message is very relatable and that it is timely and touching that it's a, it's a story, a common story. We've all fallen short. We've all made mistakes. We all have limitations. We all look in the, in the mirror and have to face poor decisions and, and things like that in the past. And sometimes we're paralyzed by that. But this song just reminds us that we serve a God that is bigger than our failures, a God that's not a judgmental God. You know, the scripture says, for the Son of Man did not come to condemn the world, but he came that the world might be saved. You know that I've tried and I've failed. Brennan says that her favorite message in the song is that no matter how much a person may fall, God's love is always there. Running Back to You will be available on August 25th and can be found on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, and Amazon Music. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Julanda Thompson. Certainly a beautiful song. Your Thursday evening sports check is up next with Jay Philippe.
Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports. We have a whole lot of updates for you this evening with softball and track and field, but let's begin with basketball. John Quell Jones and the Connecticut Sun. Connecticut is back in the WNBA semifinals for a fourth consecutive season. The number one three-seeded Sun ousted the number six Dallas Wings 73-58 in the deciding game three on Wednesday night. The game was tied at halftime, however, the Sun kept their defensive pressure on the Wings in the second half, keeping them to just 12 points in each frame and made enough shots to get through. Grand Bahamian John Quell Jones had an 11.10 rebound double-double after early foul trouble. Jones and the Sun will now take on the Chicago Sky this Sunday in Game 1 of the semifinals at 8 p.m. Sticking with hoops action, the Bahamas senior men's national basketball team will take on Venezuela tonight at 8 p.m. at the Sir Kendall GL Isaac Gymnasium in the FIBA Basketball World Cup America qualifiers. Grand Bahamian Buddy Heal and Kai Jones will headline the roster 14 Bahamas. In addition, a number of Grand Bahamas also expected to play tonight. 14 Bahamas including the likes of Travis Munnings, Kentwan Smith, Willis Mackey Jr. and Franco Miller Jr. From the course now to the tracks, Team Bahamas 4x4 relay team picked up a bronze medal at the recent NACAC Open Track and Field Championships. For many years, the Bahamas has also been competitive in the men's 4x4 relay as one of the top teams in international competition. You know, at the end of the day, everybody want a gold medal, but it didn't happen today, but we have more in the future for the 4x4 or even individual 400. Just looking forward to that. I was exciting um, being here. I mean, you could look at the crowd. I mean, it's just it's amazing to be here, home in, the fr in front of the, the crowd. Um, you know, it's always a blessing to put on to put, to put on my um, put bombs across my chest. It feels good, man. We get to bring home some hardware. You know what I mean? I tried to run my best in the first leg, make the crowd jump a little bit. So it was great to do that. I'm definitely happy with the result we got. I mean, despite we didn't win, it's okay, man. I mean, I didn't think I was able going to be able to even run this. Really, it took a you know leap of faith. I had to put on my big boy shoes and be a soldier, and we did it. And finally in sports, the Grand Bahama Amateur Softball Association will have its final regular season games this weekend. Two games will be played on Friday at 7 p.m. Pats Uniform will take on Buckeye in men's play, followed by GBPA going up against Pats Uniform in co-ed action at 8 p.m. And that's a quick check on sports, ladies and gents. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed. Catch the sidewalk sale every Saturday in August at Esquire Men's Freeport, up to 70% off. Esquire, open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Phone 352-8816. H&L is here for your back-to-school needs. We have backpacks that roll and backpacks that ride. We have composition books, pencils, pens, lunch bags, rulers, and everything else that you need to start your school year. We also have masks for the school of your choice. H&L is fully stocked and located in downtown Freeport, ready to serve you. Call us at 352-5470. Island Bedding has the biggest summer sale going on right now. Special, special, special. Comforters, mattress pads, sheets, toppers, and best of all, mattress. 35% off, 45% off, 50% off. Oh my goodness. Special, people. <laughs> For designer shoes, sandals, accessories, and handbags, visit Steppin' Out. Now at two locations, Old Sam's Plaza Freeport and top of the Hill Mackey Street, Nassau. Steppin' Out. When you want to put your best foot forward. Come on down to Superb Water Depot and Snacks. We sell and we deliver. Ice, drinks, purified water, alkaline water, and a variety of snacks. Your one-stop shop for all your snacks and water needs. Contact 242-820-2482. We are located number 2 La France Plaza, Peachtree Street. Purified water, 50 cents a gallon. Alkaline water, 80 cents a gallon. Come on now, you can't beat that. We offer superb quality, superb taste, and superb service. Monday to Saturday, 8 to 8, and Sundays, 8 to 2. Superb water depot and snacks. Come on down. It was one of the hardest hits this island has ever experienced. Hurricane Dorian decimating what many call home. Join the ZNS team as residents are reflecting and telling their compelling stories of survival and how the community has come together to rebuild Abaco. Airing August 29th through September 2nd, right here 
on the ZNS network. That's what I told her. Bring the winding thing here. This is Rick and Strip Show. Show me emotion. Hey, wind and go down low. The king of the north is back. Power 104.5 FM. Your number one news team covering the north. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Alice Clark, you are our Facebook friend of the day, and we are grateful for your support. We also want to say a special happy birthday going out to Marianne Bonnevy and Anne Stirrup celebrating your birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed your day. And that concludes The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. On behalf of the entire news team here in the North, I'm Ramiko Knowles. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned as The Bahamas Tonight continues. Tonight, the National Report, COVID and public events, where things stand. Paradise Island scores a multi-million dollar investment. The results of national examinations revealed. And John Phil Jones back in the WNBA semifinals. The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report starts now. This portion of the news is brought to you by BTC Super Fast Internet for Less. Best rate, no debate. Sign up today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Makush Lopindo. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Thanks so much for joining us. COVID numbers, not where they used to be, but there's always a daily reminder that the elusive virus that has affected hundreds of millions and killed an alarming number is still with us. Amid the reality that COVID may very well never end, comes the continued track to normalcy. And that includes staging and attending public events. COVID's present substrains, the BA4 and 5, don't appear as severe. At least based on how Health and Wellness Minister, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darvel, has seen things play out on the local scene. Still, the mere fact that the virus lingers is cause for concern, particularly in the face of public events like the upcoming National Hurricane Dorian Memorial Concert set for the Bahama Resort next weekend. So here's the plan. According to the minister, the Emergency Operations Center or EOC, is looking at releasing a tight scrutiny of local events. Uh, as it stands right now, the uh, EOC uh, leads the charge to determine which events should happen and which events should not happen. We are becoming mindful that uh, we're going to uh, release that where people will make the conscientious decisions and do things in a, uh, an orderly fashion and a fashion uh, that we believe is safe. Uh, but we expect those who are planning the events and those who attend the events uh, to act responsible and to ensure that uh, you try your endeavor best uh, to, uh, to stay healthy and if you do have symptoms our free testing center is available and uh, to do the necessary uh, protocols uh, to eliminate or prevent the possibility of additional clusters of spread. Darvel's comments come as the local vaccination rate is still not where authorities hope it would be a feat directly tied to lifting the mask mandate. With the addition of the pediatric population we used to speak about a percentage of about 53%, but if you increase the denominator, it actually reduced. And so we are very concerned and we're pleading throughout the country for Bahamians to come in, particularly those who have not gotten their first and second dose, to become vaccinated because the more people are vaccinated, the more uh, possibility of us looking very seriously at the mass mandate in order for us to do a better job. And speaking of pediatric vaccines, health officials are counting on an uptick in that regard as well. Going forward, uh, we will definitely uh, begin to even increase our PR to get people to come in to be vaccinated, our children as well as the adults. Uh, of course, it's not mandatory. It is all voluntary. 
And if you're still on the fence about vaccination, the minister's advice is simple. Just look at the data and make a decision. And speaking of COVID, the latest numbers are out. And based on what's been confirmed on the August 24th dashboard, nine new cases are on New Providence and one each on Abaco and Andros with the location of another pending for a total of 12. Meantime, 20 people are in hospital with the illness, active cases 185 and recoveries at 22. Well, still on health news this evening, no secret, the country has been losing nurses for more greener pastures abroad. Public Hospitals Authority Managing Director Albanette Rowe pegging that at 100 plus nurses in recent years. Our big concern is, is not only about losing them, like we spoke about, but it's also uh, mechanisms put in place for retention. And I think the president, Amancha, would have laid over some of those uh, concerns. And if I could even add to those, uh, apart from the retention bonus, um, they also now getting things that they never received before, such as shift differentials. Uh, people don't understand, you know, when you come up... When you come out on night duty and leave your family, that is a commitment. And so we've allowed them to see that we appreciate you. And so you will have an hourly rate that will be added for those persons as well. In other news this evening, education officials have tabulated the results of this year's national examinations. And despite the serious challenges the pandemic threw in the mix, there are reasons to celebrate, including the more 1,000 candidates receiving a C or above in five or more subjects, a 14.2% improvement. Our Lloyd Allen joins us live in studio with the details. Good evening, Lloyd. Well, good evening, Makoshla, and good evening, Bahamas. Truth is, for both the Bahamas Junior Certificate and Bahamas General Certificate of Secondary Education National Examinations, there were noted improvements and areas of concern. And as the education officials shared those details earlier today, they maintained that while there is a ways to go, they remain satisfied with the progress made. Positively, when compared with last year, there was a a significant percentage increase in the total number of grades awarded at A to D and a decrease in the grades awarded E through U. According to Director of Education Marcellus Taylor, when officials analyzed national examination results, they discovered that out of the 17,546 grades awarded, candidates taking the Bahamas Junior Certificates, which include a count of 1,361 candidates, received a grade of C or higher in five or more subjects. This represents 14.2% of the overall uh, candidates and a 16, almost 17% increase when compared with last year. There were 1,164 candidates in 2021 who received the grade of C or higher. Now for the Bahamas General Certificate of Secondary Education exam, 1,849 candidates attained a grade of C or higher in five or more subjects. There are significant increases at A to C, and in fact, the 10.38% of grades A, which were awarded this year, is the highest that has been awarded since 2018. Now, additionally, in the BGCSE candidate pool, 52.6% of grades are in the range of A to C. Females remain the stronger performers compared to their male counterparts. Overall, as education officials prepare for a new school year, the plan is to improve the functionality of the LMS, making students more accountable academically and ensuring that attendance shortfalls are minimized. Minister of Education and Technical and Vocational Training, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, says for students who may be non-academic, academically inclined, alternatives are being optimized. They're trying to engage students to be more inquisitive, so it's less fat memorization and more inquiry, critical thinking, so that, you know, that stimulus takes place in schools because it will help us analyze what are the barriers, what are the challenges, where are the issues with our young people, and how do we create modalities to allow them to reach the pinnacle of learning. And, and that is the work that we are now have underway. 
The noted concern of education deficit remains at the fore for ministry officials. This as a result of COVID restrictions. They believe that ongoing adjustments will pave the way to maximize learning needs for all students. This as they push toward the continued enhancement of education here in the Bahamas. Reporting live in studio for the Bahamas tonight, I'm Lloyd Allen. Back to you, Makushla. Well, thanks, Lloyd. Five teachers, meantime, of the Stephen Dillard Primary School were yesterday prevented from entering the classroom and signing the school's register, according to Bahamas Union of Teachers President Belinda Wilson. Wilson alleges the teachers were reassigned to other schools without explanation or due cause. While responding to such claims, Director of Education Marcellus Taylor told our news team the five teachers in question have refused to accept the reassignment letters they would have received from the principal this past June. Well, still a wait for Bahamian students hoping to have their visa application approved in time to attend tertiary institutions in the United States. And this according to COVID and this considering rather COVID-19 seriously impacted waiting times at U.S. embassies globally. Consular Section Chief here in Nassau, Lance Posey, is confident though that things will get back on track by January did over a thousand um, student visa applications over the last few months um, which is pretty pretty much on average to what we do on a regular basis um, and so that takes up a lot of our bandwidth in the in the summertime um, but we're hopeful that as we move towards 2023 and um, COVID is in our rearview mirror that we will um, start to be able to tackle this backlog a little bit and the wait times and hopefully get it down to where it was pre-COVID. We've actually done more visa interviews in the first six to eight months of this year than we did in 2018 or 2019. Adequate funding and incomplete applications, just some of the challenges U.S. Visa Consular Section officers face from Bahamian student visa applicants add to that incorrect interview dates. We cannot accept that form if the date is in the past. It has to be in the future. And so that's one of the problems that happens. Then there's just some of the basics, like make sure you have your photos, make sure that you... Um, that you have all your other, you know, your passports got the appropriate validity and things like that. And so when they come in, if they need, if they need to get to school soon, we will expedite their, uh, their visa adjudication process to get the visa out the door as quick as we can. Um, we'll, we'll do some things that we normally don't do with other applicants uh, for the visa process with students because it's, like I said, it's very, very important. And we know a lot of the uh, issues that they're faced with are, are out of their hands. This is Chief Meteorologist Basil Dane with a Tropical One Update brought to you by PTC and CBS Bahamas. The Hurricane Center this evening, they are looking at uh, two tropical waves uh, that are of some interest to them. They have a very low chance of developing, but they expect conditions to become more favorable over the next five days. This is the first one, uh, several hundred miles to the southwest of the Cape Woody Islands, and it has a very broad area of uh, disorganized showers and some embedded thunderstorms as well. Right now, they're giving this on a 10% chance of developing, but early next week, Monday into Wednesday, that will bump up to about 20%. And then the second wave is near the Windward Islands, not well organized, as you can see. They had some ragged showers associated with the system, has a 0% at the moment, but as it moves over the central and western Atlantic early next week, conditions will become more favorable for development. That has been your Zetanaz Tropical Weather Update, brought to you by BTC and CBS Farms. Still to come, the country's import figures still high and ground broken for a new Paradise Island edition. We'll be back after the break. This portion of the news was brought to you by Sun Oil Limited Shell, fueling journeys that matter. It has the looks, the style, the performance. Your new car is everything you always dreamed of. Now it's here. 
Commonwealth Bank was happy to help put you behind the wheel with a new car loan at a competitive rate and fast, friendly approval. It's a service that just comes naturally to us, just like how love of tradition comes naturally to you. Commonwealth Bank, leader in personal banking services. Well, check old girl, boy. You say she getting married? Oh, man, not again. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man's BTC home internet with this woman BTC mobile service in holy matrimony. So they'll pay half the price compared to the other guys. What's wrong with you? Just let them... Madam, do you have BTC mobile service? I do. Sir, do you have BTC home internet to unite with her mobile service? I do. Get all the internet you want at half the price when you bundle your home internet and mobile service. So, what services do you have? Me? I have BTC at home and on my phone. Visit any BTC store to make the switch today. Real-time rules. Don't serve yourself first. Do not eat with your mouth open. Don't rest your elbows on the table. Don't make noise when eating. Does not apply when enjoying KFC buckets. When we bucket together, we are as we really are. Kids, let's go! Sean, what are you doing? I solved it. <laughs> we'll buy our life insurance policy from this company and then go over here and get our home insurance. Then get our motor policy from right over here. Or we could just get it all with CG Atlantic. Save a lot of money and effort. They do it all? Even pensions? Even pensions. We're like a husband that doesn't overcomplicate everything. CG Atlantic. Good like that. Sometimes you need to make a classic move. That's why for all of life's moments, there's one classic credit card. Experience cashless purchasing power and chip and pin security with your RBC Visa classic credit card. Manage your day-to-day -day expenses as well as life's little surprises. Apply today at rbc.com slash Caribbean slash Visa Classic and enjoy one year's free membership. Conditions apply. This is Personique Role from Island News Network, where we're always in the know. We're investigating Island Game, and what we want to know is, how are they doing what they're doing? Now, the news on the street is that there are 13 Percy Pension Plans, where you get paid $1,000 every week for a year. Now, nah, I got my mind on the ground to find out how true this is. Hey, we live. Yeah, I, I, I was just checking on something. How Island Game doing what they doing? And listen, now, this ain't no fake news. The Island Game have 13 different pension plans. 13! All you gotta do is put $20 on your verified Island Game account. Can you confirm this information? My, what? See it right there? Incredible. There you go. There's a story here, and now you're in the know. I so glad you get me out this house. Things been rough since Marvin dad from COVID. You know I have for you? How to turn coping? They are right. They going out with their friends more. At least they vaccinated, so you know they safe. Well... Deb, you serious? You ain't vaccinated the churn after what happened with Marvin and the over 12? I hear so much things about this COVID vaccine, I know what to take. Debbie, what you mean? We know they safe, just like the other ones we to get. You forget how JJ had COVID plus he got sugar? He only pulled through because of the vaccine. I will in Keisha, but I scared. I can't lose my turn too. Well, Debbie, this COVID ain't over yet. Please carry the turn to one of them government clinic. Y'all go get vaccinated and protect yourself and your family. Thanks, Keisha. I will make sure my family's safe. You better. <laughs> hey, Chef, fix us up. I hungry bad. Vaccinate today, live tomorrow. A message by Paho WHO, Canada and USAID. It's a multi-million dollar investment marking the second time around for a Grand Bahama food store chain that's banking on a much better outcome. Cleopatra Murphy has the details of what company officials say affirms a commitment to the Bahamas and is the start of future investments. 
It's a $7.5 million investment and on Thursday morning, shovels hit the ground on the latest Sawyer's Fresh Market. This high-end food store on Paradise Island is set to open within the more than $250 million Sterling Hurricane Hole development, employing 50 during construction and creating 75 permanent jobs. It will be an 8,000-square-foot supermarket that Chief Financial Officer Lurleen Moss says marks the second time owners will venture into the Nassau market. This time around, we are a little, we are more mature and we're more settled. Um, when we initially invested in the Nassau market, we were a young business. Hadn't done um, as much research as we've done now. We don't have the team that we have, so we're pretty confident that this is going to um, um, gonna be successful. Minister of Tourism, Aviation and Investment the Honorable Chester Cooper is lauding the pending addition of the new food store, championing Bahamian investment in the country. This is a proud day because this is a domestic investment. Uh, it's a Bahamian entity driving this development. Uh, it's more than a supermarket that we're celebrating today. It's an investment of 7.5 million and 10,000 plus square feet of uh, shopping space. Executive Chairman of Sterling Global Financial David Kosoy says the Hurricane Hole project that includes a 90-slip superyacht marina, clinic and two restaurants among amenities will cost up to $300 million once completed. The supermarket and the restaurant which we signed are phase two and they're actually going on now in for permits, etc. And as you see, we've started construction already on the supermarket and then I think in the next in the fall, we're going to come out with the next phase, which is a seven-story condominium. Sawyer's Fresh Markets owns two retail stores and a wholesale division on Grand Bahama. Moss says the Paradise Island edition is just the start of its investments in the Nassau market. The latest edition is on tap to open during the first half of 2023. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy. The United States remains the Bahamas' number one trading partner, and figures prove it. According to the Department of Statistics Foreign Trade Report, North America represented 84.5% of total imports and 75.8% of exports. And this even though the Bahamas significantly traded with China, Canada, the Turks and Caicos, and Japan. Getting to the exact numbers, $3.5 billion in commodities were imported to the Bahamas last year, a 57.9% increase from 2020. Mineral fuels, the largest contributor to imports, accounted for 19% of all imports, totaling $658 million, followed by food and live animals at $641 million, $631 million dollars in machinery and transport equipment and manufactured goods estimated at 480 million or 14 percent of all imports to the country. Meantime, 2021's domestic and re-exports stand at 543.4 million. Well, with the very real threat that the National Insurance Board's funds could soon be depleted, Minister with Cabinet Responsibility for the agency, the Honorable Miles LaRota, says at some point the dilemma will have to be addressed. Earlier this year, the ILO's 11th actuarial report revealed the fund could be insolvent by 2028, that is, if urgent action is not taken. Naroda admitting more must be done, considering the fund remains under severe pressure. But that does not uh, negate the fact that there are employees of national insurance who have performed. There are union agreements in the past, and part of our job is to satisfy those union agreements to uh, do two things, make sure that we have a an employment, employee complement at National Insurance, including the managers, who are productive and who would want to continue to service the Bahamian people while also being cognizant of, of, of the fund that in being productive, we have to find ways to raise our revenue, um, be more uh, proactive, but the big elephant in the room is the numbers are the numbers, and at some point, um, that decision would be made. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. Stay with us. 
to save with a new perspective where the focus is on values and principles and people are just as important as profits. Where we believe in democracy and equality and your vote counts. Where profits are shared with our members who are also our owners to ensure that by working together, we all win. Where education of our members and training our staff are one of our highest priorities. Where we serve our members' needs through continued cooperative initiatives because of our concern for the communities in which we live. Join more than 40,000 Bahamians who have made the smarter choice. Join the movement. Join a credit union. People helping people to help themselves. For hurricane season, we got impact windows and doors. Protection just come to our store. Plus, we got tiles to pretty up your walls and your floors. We love you bad enough for that big bad storm. For some tiles, blank tiles, mosaic tiles, a variety of styles. Before teens get right, they gotta be rough. That's why we got the best deals in the whole Bahamas. Hey! Fabrics and Uniform Store wants to get you ready for back to school. Find ready-made uniforms and uniform fabrics for all schools in the Bahamas. Carries also sells skirts, blouses, shirts, jumpers, boys' shorts, and pants. You can even have your uniform skirts custom-made. Also find school bags, school supplies, socks, and underwear. That's Carrie's Fabric and Uniform Store on Mackey Street. Call 393-0758. Watch them grow and make plans for them even before they're old enough to talk. You spend a lifetime of sacrifice to pave the way for their success and create a tomorrow you too can be proud of. Can you tell who is the investor? At Lenham, we believe everyone who has ever put a penny aside for a future dream is an investor. If you're new to investing, Lenos financial experts stand ready to design plans based on your goals. Let's sit down and explore the options one-on-one -on -one and see how, together, we can make your dreams come true. Whether considering traditional investments like a new home, car, your own business, security and retirement, or your child's college fund, we take the confusion out of the process and make an investor out of you. Call 396-3225 for an appointment. Leno, your bridge to the future. When it comes to picking a pharmacy that is convenient and reliable, only one name comes to mind. Wilmax Pharmacy, a team of trusted and trained pharmacists ready to serve you with all your pharmaceutical and over-the-counter product needs. We carry beauty and hair supplies, as well as household and everyday supplies. Open seven days a week from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. NIV drug plan is accepted and delivery service is available. So call 323-1037 today or visit Wilmax Pharmacy on Ponciana Drive opposite the University City of the Bahamas. Join up for life insurance. Secure the ones that you love. Join up with Family Guardian. We offer full protection. Join the family. Join the family. Family Guardian. Protect the ones you love. A friend that you can trust. Family Keeping you in the know. Keeping you in the know. Got that fence good enough to eat, then it's good to grow. If it's good enough to eat, then it's good to grow. The quiet community of Black Point Exuma came to life during the August Monday holiday weekend as residents and visitors from around the world celebrated the 59th Black Point Exuma Regatta. This year's regatta was held in memory of legendary sailor Captain Lundy Robinson. The present battle was sailed by Lundy Robinson. We have in this regatta in honor of Lundy Robinson. And Lundy Robinson is the defending champion. So everyone is trying to beat the crazy partner so they can 
becoming a champion. One of the most anticipated races was the open water race that started from Staniel Key to Black Point. No stranger to the sport, Minister Clay Sweeting hopped aboard the defending champion, the Crazy Partner, where he helped the crew to secure the second place victory. First place winner, Captain Henny Rule, who sailed the slaughter, said it's good to have regardas officially back on track. My boat is a very fast boat. We had a bar start, which we call it a stage. That's when the boat fly up in the wind. After we fly up in the wind, the rest of the boats uh, got away and uh, had a good lead on us. After we got, it, got started and got it on the way, I told my uncle, which is a skipper of the boat, I said, uncle, just sail the boat. We have a long way to go. By the time we get the black point, we'll be victorious. Officially opening the regatta, Sweden ensured sailors and residents that his ministry will continue to back them with the necessary resources to keep them enthusiastic about the sport. Black Point, you'll forever have a place in my heart because this experience has enriched me as a minister. I now have a deeper love and appreciation for the sport. Many Bahamians feel the same way. Therefore, the government of the Bahamas is keen to make sailing the national sport of the Bahamas. No other sport demonstrates the tenacity of Bahamians like sailing. Keeping you in the know with Good to Grow, I'm Georgie O'Bain. Fresh on the heels of free Wi-Fi in community parks, another initiative is being launched. The ICT self-service portal and civil servants are the benefactors. Parliamentary Secretary in the Office of Economic Affairs, Wade Watson, explains the services that can be requested and accessed. By visiting ictselfservice.gov.bs, you can now request the following services. Request for an email, change in password, request for ICT equipment, hardware, request for technical support, WIT, conference setup, request for technical support issues related to the website, internet, software and application solutions, new network requests, request for a business analyst as it relates or project manager as it relates to agency ICT projects. This solution also gives you the ability to request for training, specific training or otherwise training related to Microsoft. Well, as we head to the break, we'd like to thank all our viewers watching us live on our social media platforms. And just in case you missed the news, be sure to head there to catch up. Stay with us. There's more after the break. Hello, Summer. Escape into summer when you fuel up with Shell. Every time you purchase $20 gas, you're entered to win your share of over $50,000 in cash prizes and fantastic trips, including a staycation at Grand Island Exuma, a shopping spree in Miami, and a four-day trip to Las Vegas to see John Legend live. To enter, fuel up at Shell with $20. Go to winwithshellbahamas.com and let the fun begin. Say hello, Summer, with Shell today. Conditions apply. Hello, Summer. Movie Prediction, VKR Insights, and the Government of the Bahamas present the National Hurricane Dorian Memorial Concert Series. New Providence, featuring Grammy Award-winning artist CeCe Winans. Thursday, September 1st at the Bahama Convention Center, 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. Admission is free, but you're encouraged to bring a donation toward the Dorian Fund. Survivors can collect their free passes Friday, August 26th only at the box office, Western Grand Stand of the National Stadium. Saturday only, the general public can collect their passes at the same location. There's a limit of three tickets per person. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hello, Bahamas. This is Cece Winans inviting you to join me September 1st at the Baja Mar Convention Center as we honor the memories of the 2019 Dorian Hurricane victims and families. I look forward to seeing you there. Solomons, we're all about family. We believe in quality brands and giving you what you need and more for every occasion. Our store is filled with items for the entire family, celebrating everyday living for you 
and those you love. Shopping is now more rewarding than ever with My Solomon Smart Rewards. Shop Solomon's because family matters. Time to save with a new perspective where the focus is on values and principles and people are just as important as profits. Where we believe in democracy and equality and your vote counts. Where profits are shared with our members who are also our owners to ensure that by working together, we all win. Where education of our members and training our staff are one of our highest priorities. Where we serve our members' needs through continued cooperative initiatives because of our concern for the communities in which we live. Join more than 40,000 Bahamians who have made the smarter choice. Join the movement. Join a credit union. People helping people to help themselves. Welcome to the Global Learning Exchange. We're partnering with BIBT to bring opportunities for higher education to the Bahamas. Earn your degree from a university in the U.S. right here at home. Visit us online to learn more. We elevate, elevate, we elevate, elevate, we elevate, elevate, we elevate, elevate. I'm Corval Pye from BTC just recently supported the New Providence Youth American Football Association along with the Urban Renewal Freetown Constituency Program as the two bodies came together to host a football clinic for young boys in that community. The New Providence Youth American Football Association, we've been in existence from 2010. We actually started on-field uh, activities in 2011. But the program, we decided to use football as a draw for our young men. It's about teamwork, teaches you discipline and uh, responsibility. And so that's why we chose this game to teach life skills through the game. The decision was made to partner with the Freetown Urban Renewal uh, Group after we saw the crime situation in the Bahamas. This was really our idea of being proactive in the fight against crime. We want to get to these youth to give them a positive alternative before they get into something negative. This would not have been possible without sponsorship from BTC. We really appreciate that and all the work that BTC does in the country in every discipline, all the straight across the board. I got started with the organization in 2012 when I moved back home. So it's been about 10 years now since I've been a part of the organization. Football is a sport where no matter the size, no matter the speed, no matter the height, no matter the weight, um, there's a position for everyone on the field. And so I really love that about the sport. We could actually get a lot of youngsters to, to play football. Football drills, life lessons, and gaining an appreciation for responsibility, teamwork, and discipline. BTC supports our youth and believes that not all hope is lost. These are still the moments that move us. I'm Corval Pyfrom. Be well and be back here next BTC Connection. Throughout our lifetime, we must all make decisions. No matter how we choose, the right one just needs to be made. Like having J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers as your insurance partner. We've been serving the Bahamas for over 100 years. Whether you need home, motor, marine, or commercial insurance, make the right decision. Call 397-2100 or visit jsjohnson.com. J.S.J. Johnson Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis is headed to his hometown tomorrow for the opening of that island's first tourist office. Press Secretary Clint Watson telling reporters at today's weekly briefing that interest from entrepreneurs is high. What's happening is there's a lot of interest uh, in, in Cat Island, particularly for people who are putting up uh, bed and breakfasts. Uh, uh, 
Airbnbs. There's a lot of that now generating for the island of Cat Island. And so because of the peak interest in tourism, uh, tourism wanted to make sure there was a presence uh, down there to be able to help and coordinate with tourists being on the ground, to be able to assist and so forth. And so that office is indeed being open on Friday ahead of the Gombe Festival that's being opened there, launched there on Saturday. Sorry, that same evening, Friday evening. So it is a part of a, a concerted effort to improve our southern Bahamas uh, uh, islands as well as our central Bahama islands. Um, there is much work that needs to be done infrastructure-wise, and that's happening as well. Police over in Andros questioning two males from Stanyard Creek in connection with an armed robbery at a Fresh Creek business Wednesday afternoon. Three masked men, one of them allegedly armed with a handgun, went into the business and demanded cash. The culprits reportedly left with laptops, cell phones, and an undisclosed amount of money. We understand one of the robbers wore a black and gray wetsuit and a gray hat, the other a black jeans and red long sleeve shirt, and the third suspect, gray pants and yellow shirt. Officers caught two of the culprits about an hour later in Stanyard Creek. Anyone with information that can assist police in locating the third suspect is asked to call the North Andros Police Station at 329-2353, Fresh Creek Police Station at 368-2626, or the Criminal Investigation Department here in New Providence at 502-9991 or 2, or Crime Stoppers at 328-TIPS. Over in Eleuthera, a 34-year-old man and a 23-year-old woman have some serious questions to answer after they were reportedly found with suspected marijuana. Police sharing that intelligence-led officers searched a public landfill in Gregorytown after 5 Wednesday morning and found the drugs. Additional information led the officers to a home where even more marijuana was found and confiscated. The drugs weighing in at 1.5 pounds with an estimated street value of $1,500. Investigations are ongoing. It's time now for a check on Family Island weather with Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean. Good evening, Basil. Oh, good evening, Makishna. Right now outside of our studios, we have just a few clouds floating around. Temperature is still quite warm at 88 degrees. The relative humidity, 65%. We have southeast winds at 11 miles per hour. The barometric pressure that stands at 1,016.7 millibars. That's 30.02 inches, and the pressure is rising. Temperatures around the family violence this evening, they are brought to you by Family Guardian Insurance Company. We're protecting you. It is 86 degrees in Freeport, Grand Bahama and Green Toll. Key Mile Shop at 87 degrees. 91 degrees in the Berry Islands. Alistair and Bimini, 88 degrees. 88 is also in Harbor Island. Roxanne Elutra, 87. Black Point in Zuma, Kemp Space at Andros and Fresh Creek in Central Andros all at 88 degrees. 86 in Ardestan, Cat Island, San Salvador and Rumkey, Georgetown at 87 degrees. 88 in Rygat Island, Clarence Down Long Island and Crooked Island. Betsy Bay, Maguana, 86, Acklands, Matthew Tanya, Niagara, 86, and the Turks and Caicos Islands at 84 degrees. And your boating forecast tonight is brought to you by Builders Mall, home of FYP, the Tile King, and the Paint Center. In the northwestern islands tonight through Saturday, southeast winds can be anticipated. Speeds 10 to 15 knots, the way fights to the four feet. High tide will take place at 7.42 this evening. You can expect another high tide at 7.57 tomorrow morning. Now for the central and southeastern islands through Saturday, southeast winds, those winds will be increasing 12 to 18 knots, the way fights building 3 to 6 feet. So caution flags will be in place for the south to let out these analysis through Saturday. That's going to do it for your boating forecast. It's time now for your international temperatures. And they are brought to you by Royal Star Assurance. To do it for your international temperatures brought to you by Raw Star Shorts. But stay tuned, your extended weather forecast is still ahead. I thought all the drinks on night and everything.
Providence Association of Principals and Public Secondary Schools, SNAPS, and the Bahamas Educators Managerial Union, in conjunction with IBM and RSC, launched the first annual STEM camp here in the Bahamas. STEM representative and Canadian native Partik Dulat further explains. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And basically my role is to bring STEM education, whether that's workplace skills, knowledge, to our youth. Specifically, I try, I try to target girls because there is that gap within the industry. We have a three-day train-the-trainer sort of session. So this allows the teachers and the students to go off and train their peers on different topics such as robotics, um, augmented reality, we're going to be doing snap circuits, we're going to be learning about the environment and uh, learning the basics of programming. So these are a lot of skills that are very interactive and exciting. Education Minister Glennis Hannah Martin was present for the launch, noting that the initiative will ignite a timely conversation. I commend this collaboration, which demonstrates an understanding of the fundamental importance of this in some instances, new exploration for our young people. It is keenly perceptive of you to include an almost equal amount of teachers within the scope of reference and thereby providing a holistic approach to the introduction of STEM learning. Among the stakeholders present were RSC representative Raj Ramdas and his team and a number of education officials. I'm Adama Williams for Red Talk. Awesomely, this is this is a beautiful experience. I, I can't lie. This is my first time doing this sort of charity work, and I mean, it feels good to help out. You know, there's a can drive coming up, and other initi initiatives are part of the giving a helping hand campaign. And I encourage anyone that's willing to lend their support in any way, shape, or form to come through and, and um, give up your time. It's your honorary pump attendant here to educate you on the do's and don'ts at the service station. Here's what you don't do. Do not pull up from the pump without first checking that the nozzle has been removed from your car. Because if you pop this, that's about $600 to $30,000 to replace. These things ain't cheap. What you want to do is make sure that the nozzle has been removed or just wait for the universal sign, which is the double tap. household name carries a lot of approval and when you're shopping for household you need a household name for 50 years bahamas welding and fire has been a household name in outdoor grills and kitchen appliances need to beautify that yard space for your grill bwf has it covered for the industrial worker you can find a complete line of tools and safety equipment. For the welder of any level or budget, you can find the right machinery to power everything. There's no shortage on power with a wide array of generators. And safety is everyone's responsibility. Find everything needed to protect everyone on the worksite. Over 40,000 square feet of shopping space in a convenient location. Bahamas Welding and Fire. We're more than just our name. Located number 13 Wilton Street. When you want to spend money on your tile supplies, who are you going to call? The Tile King. When you tell your house and you want to look good, who are you going to call? The Tile King. Visit the new Tile King showroom, which is internationally recognized as the finest tile showroom in the Caribbean, located in the Builders Mall on Wolf Road. The Tile King. Who you going to call? on everything. What? Check old girl, boy. You say she getting married? Oh, man. Not again. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man's BTC home internet with this woman BTC mobile service in holy matrimony. So they'll pay half the price compared to the other guys. What's wrong with you? Just let them... Madam, do you have BTC mobile service? I do. 
Sir, do you have BTC Home Internet to unite with her mobile service? I do. Get all the internet you want at half the price when you bundle your home internet and mobile service. So, what services do you have? Me? I have BTC at home and on my phone. Visit any BTC store to make the switch today. Sizzling summer specials at Super Value this week include Mahatma Long Grain Rice, 5 pounds, $3.99. Campbell's Chunky Soups, 19 ounces, $2.79. Olivia Cooking Oil, 48 ounce, $3.99. Whole chickens, $1.99 per pound. Fresh tomatoes, $1.79 per pound. Donate your change to help feed the Humane Society animals at Super Value and quality supermarkets. This is ZNS Total Sports. Welcome to sports, everybody. Tonight is the night. Team Bahamas continuing its trek towards qualifying for the 2023 FIBA World Cup with a home game against Venezuela. Taking to the floor, Kino Burrows, Gavin Clark, Kadeem Colby, Rajshad Davis, Buddy Heal, Kai Jones, Dan Rad Knowles, Willis Mackey, Franco Miller, Tum Tum Nairn, Kentuan Smith and Michael Thompson. With six games in this window, Sports Minister the Honorable Mario Bolig says the host shouldn't feel any early pressure. You could lose these two games and come back and win the next four. You have to win enough to qualify. You could win your first game. That don't means you're going anywhere. You might lose your next four or five. So uh, I wouldn't say these, this window is the biggest window for them. That will literally take them to the World Game. So it doesn't matter which games they win. You take every game seriously and approach each game as is the last. And I'm sure that's the idea of approaching each game. And as long as we have these windows that allow our NBA players and our top professional basketball players to be available, then we need to take advantage of them. Head coach for Team Bahamas, Chris DeMarco, comes from a winning background as an assistant with the Golden State Warriors, and he's brought that tradition with him here to the 242. Well, I started doing this in 2019 or being a part of this. Uh, I was really excited, and uh, it was after the first practice, these guys, the energy they brought in the gym, uh, how hard we went, uh, the vision of where this program could be was phenomenal and something I wanted to be a part of and we're sitting here now and we have this chance to qualify for a World Cup. As for tonight's venue, the sports minister says the Kendall Isaacs gym is up and running. I know if you was in there a week ago or a couple of weeks ago when you was to the pastors and politicians game it was hot but I assure you that the AC is working so ladies you can come and be sexy because you won't sweat that much. <laughs> I know you want to look nice for these players so I say that you are uh, you know, you can put on your things. John Qual Jones posting 11 points and 10 rebounds last night as the Connecticut Sun won Game 3 in their WNBA first-round series with the Dallas Wings, 73-58, to move into the semifinals. In the process, J.J. also took over third place in total rebounds in franchise playoff history. Next up for the Sun now, a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference Championship with the Chicago Sky. Game one in that best of five is Sunday in the Windy City. From the minor league baseball diamond, Lucius Fox making a statement in his return to the AAA Rochester Red Wings. Following a stint on the IL and two rehab starts, Fox found the seats in his first game back. A two-run shot in the third inning, his second home run of the season, helping Rochester to a 5-1 win over Worcester. Hands for Hunger announcing its inaugural tee for Hunger golf tournament. It's set for September 25th at the Ocean Club course on Paradise Island. In this tournament, we're hoping to raise as much as $100,000. And if he can raise that money, that would mean 50,000 additional meals for families who presently go without hunger. We're expecting about 124 golfers to participate. The top prize in the golf tournament, of course, will be a car for a hole-in-one. But the prize for the winning team would be a seven-day Alaskan cruise. The top prize in the silent auction is a, a sportsman's weekend to Dallas, where we're taking uh, four people will go to Dallas, they play two rounds of golf, and then they will be accommodated in a field-size suite to watch a Dallas football game. And then when you look at the um, prize we have uh, for the raffle, the top prize there is going to be uh, golf at Albany uh, with a celebrity golfer. I wish to affirm my government's endorsement and encouraging all of us to take a good hard swing in eradicating hunger 
and growing more of our own as we move toward a greater food security for our beloved Bahamalan. The Atlanta Softball League swinging into action this morning. It's the first time players took to the field since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. It is an exciting time for us. Uh, being off the field for three years under the seat of day to come to division, uh, we're very happy about it. Uh, the team, yeah, both teams are excited. The other four teams are more excited, but uh, we're waiting to see that uh, finance and HR team on Sunday. That should be a dynamite matchup down at the Blue Hill playing field. That's a look at sports. Jack on weather up next. This is ZNS Total Sports. people they ain't coming in here to find out all of my business but daddy in school they say everybody should do the census oh no that's the census people i ain't gonna find that mommy everyone is supposed to do the census how else are we gonna know how much people is in the bahamas how else are we gonna know where to build clinics and schools or how many disabled or how many need welfare I never thought about it like that. Wow, I never looked at it like that. Come on, Mommy, the count depends on you. Let's do the study. The count depends on you. AID has everything you need and more to complement your home's decor. Luxurious bamboo bath towel, face towels from $1.25 and bath towels from $5.45. Shower curtains from $2.54 and organizers in stylish finishes. Bath mat sets from $7.27 in a multitude of styles and colors. Bed sheet sets from $9.95 and seven-piece comforter sets from $49.95. Doormats from $1.93 with matching runners and hundreds of area carpets. Sofa covers from $19.95, plain and crushed sheer curtains from 525 and thousands of panels to choose from blinds from 702 and curtain rods from 289 ceramic and porcelain dishes tablecloths napkins placemats utensils and more a wide selection of drinking glasses including elegant stemware candle holders vases and crystal full-size mirrors decorative pictures and picture frames aid wolf road and the mall at marathon open late and on sundays to serve your decorating needs AID, all you really need and more. Opa! Shop online for free in-store pickup in two hours or less. Awesomely, this is this is a beautiful experience. I, I can't lie. This is my first time doing this sort of charity work, and I mean, it feels good to help out. You know, there's a can drive coming up, and other initi initiatives are part of the giving a helping hand campaign. And I encourage anyone that's willing to lend their support in any way, shape, or form to come through and, and um, give up your time. The government of the Bahamas presents The Courage to Rebuild, a National Hurricane Dorian Memorial Week, Friday, August 26th through Saturday, September 4th. On Friday in Abaco, a weather symposium featuring local and international weather experts. On Tuesday, August 30th, a focus on Hurricane Dorian and mental health. On Wednesday, August 31st, official updates on government repairs and the airing of the documentary, The Courage to Rebuild. 
Thursday, September 1st, remembering the victims. You're encouraged to wear your Hurricane Dorian memorial pins for a small donation to go toward Hurricane Dorian reconstruction. Also on Thursday, a memorial service at the Friendship Tabernacle Church in Abaco and a wreath-laying ceremony along the SC Boodle Highway. Flags will fly at half-mast, a concert featuring international recording artist C.C. Winans. Friday, September 2nd, the Grand Bahama Memorial Concert at the New Life Worship Center featuring Grand Bahama's leading gospel artists. Saturday, September 3rd, the Abaco Memorial Concert at the Friendship Tabernacle featuring some of the country's leading gospel artists and those from Abaco. Sunday, September 4th, a wreath-laying ceremony in East Grand Bahama and a memorial service at Jubilee Cathedral. The National Hurricane Dorian Memorial Week, taking courage to rebuild. As we can say that my shopper is totally, totally gone. The Abago people here is resilient. So you're looking forward now to what's ahead. Join us for one week as we give you an in-depth look at rebuilding Abaco, beginning August 29th through September 2nd from 2 to 4 p.m. only on the ZNS Network. Time now for weather. In our final look at weather, we have this uh, upper level low to the northeast of the Bahamas with a trailing trough across the uh, central and southeast parts of the country. That uh, will provide uh, pockets of showers occasionally tonight as it slowly moves uh, towards the west. And then there's the frontal boundary across the southeastern United States. This is expected to continue pushing southeast, stalling just to the north of the extreme northwest Bahamas over the weekend. And that will fire up some heavy showers, particularly around Abaco and Grand Bahama on Saturday night. Tonight, though, we are going in for partly cloudy, very warm conditions with a low temperature around 79 degrees. And tomorrow, you can expect some morning showers. Otherwise, they're on a cloudy day. High temperature tomorrow, 89 degrees. Extended weather forecast. Those uh, showers will be around right through Saturday. Sunday, we'll get some residual showers in the morning and things are clearing out in the afternoon. The opening part of the next week uh, looking pretty nice with a lot more sunshine in our forecast and those temperatures 90s into Saturday will get you back up in the upper 80s as of Sunday. McKishley. Well, thanks, Basil. That does it for the Bahamas tonight. Thank you for continuing to make Sadness your first choice for news and information. Only the sun covers the Bahamas better than ZNS. From all of us here at ZNS, thank you for watching and good night. Watching the ZNS Network, the People Station.